Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make metals with Poyomi shader. In a previous video, I taught you how to make metals using Arctoon shader. Now, where I won't deny that is my preferred method and the one I personally use on my avatars, it most definitely is not the most optimized version. And since I want to be all inclusive here for people who are craving different things, I'm also going to be teaching you how to make metals using Poyomi. Now, please keep in mind that the preferable method to this is using Poyomi version 6 and up. I'm using 6.1 because that is what's available with this avatar that I have here, but I suggest using 7. Anything that is the newest version would be good, but please keep in mind, as far to my knowledge, this works with 6 and up. This also works in Unity 2018 and 2019. There will be no difference. All the steps stay the same. The avatar we have here is Kokoro by Aika. I will link that in the description below. Now, if I zoom into the chest here at the leash is where we have the metal shader right here. I'm going to zoom up so y'all don't have to see those bite marks, but here is the metal shader shader around the rim of the grasses. Now this is Arctoon. Now I made a quick little, you know, demonstration here of a Poyomi metal shader. So here's Arctoon and here's Poyomi. Obvious difference, one is more optimized than the other, but I'm going to show you how to get this. First we are going to start by right clicking, create, and then click material. If this was a hard step for you to understand, please refer back to my previous videos where I teach you how to make materials. Next, where it says standard, we are going to go down and tune it to Poyumi Tune. This is up to you whether or not you want to do cutout, opaque, do not do transparent, please, or any of the other options. I suggest using cutout or opaque. My favorite option is cutout. Now from here, we see all of these options. Most of them are pulled up for me, but I'm going to go make sure I'm clicked on advanced. I'm going to pull down main and I'm gonna pull down lighting and reflections. Now those are the two things that we're going to need. Now, the first thing I wanna put on is a met cap. The met cap can be absolutely anything that you want to turn into a metal. My most preferred method is using my holographic as a metal, but it's as easy as searching up mat caps in Google. There's a whole bunch of metal mat caps for you to use provided by Google, or you can use any image that you want. This could be a, something like a rainbow image, a galaxy image. What a lot of people don't understand is you don't have to use a mat cap image. You can use a simple Google image as your mat cap and you will get the same effect. Now pulling open our Unity right here with our saved and preferred image, I'm dragging and dropping in that image into the mat cap place. Right underneath color, it says matte cap. That is where you are going to drag your image. Now, if we are looking down at our little material right here, it does not look like much at all. It looks bland. It looks boring. What is this? Now, this is where we are going to start making it metal. I first turn on metallics. Now, metallic is where I'm going to be able to make it metal. From here, we can start playing around with all of the settings. Now, in the all honesty, each setting, to my knowledge, I do not have an in-depth knowledge of each and every setting, more or less a general understanding of how they work. So smoothness is how smooth the reflection is going to be of our metallic. So imagine this is a metallic surface and there is a reflection on it and you want to smooth out the lines of the reflection. That is what smoothest does. Metallics is making it more or less metallic, which you have your baked cube map and your cube map is what the metallic metallic surface is becoming. We can choose to bake it, which makes it more as if you're baking it into the image itself. I'm baking it into my met cap so it blends in more. That's personally based on preference. It is completely up to you what you choose to do if you want to bake it or if you want to keep it. I personally bake it. It just blends in better with the metal. Now after that, I add a clear cap. Now the clear cap completely blacks it out. That's because the clear coat is up. I drag that down and again, I bring up the smoothness all the way and then I mess with the clear cap until I get what I want. Now I can force the baked cube map to bake it into my material or not. For this one, I choose not to. 
Again, if I am speaking too fast, please refer back, slow down the video if you need to. I just want to get through all of the steps as quick as possible for you so you may continue your editing. After that, we have specular reflections. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to add a bit of sparkle, a bit of shine. When you look into a metal, you see the light reflecting off of it. You see the reflection of it. Specular reflections is mimicking that light reflection on a piece of metal or on an object such as glass metal, plastic, it is mimicking that light. From here, we can make it more metallic. As you can see, this little tiny dot here is shining slightly more. And now I can drag that up. I can make this dot bigger. I can make it smaller. I can smooth it out. I could completely dissipate it. I could turn it into a little hard dot. I can smooth it out, but I prefer around here. It gives me a nice smooth metallic. After that, we could choose to add lit rim lighting, and again, it's all up to personal preference which you want to do. Whether or not you want your metal to be brighter or darker rim lighting, I just want a slight rim to it. Now, this is going to mimic the rim lighting that uh, I do in Arctoon, make, making sure that the outer edge of the metal is going to be brighter as if the light is reflecting off of it. We are going to mimic that and now scrolling down to our new material right here we are going to drag it not into the hair but into the metal right here zooming in i'm careful not to get those bite marks as i know that could probably trigger some people we have metallic right here there's other things we could do such as give it an emission because Arctune is most known for having an in instant emission, meaning if I was to go into a dark room, the metal on Arctune is always going to be glowing. I can do that the same with Poyomi. I can mimic the same things in a more optimized way. I could basically do anything that I wanted to do here. I can saturate it. I can desaturate it if I was to put my metal texture into the main texture instead of the matte cap. All of this stuff here is stuff we can play around with, but the main three that you want to remember are metallics, clear coat, and specular reflection. Matte cap, you can use as your main texture. It is what I suggest. Now, you may be thinking, do all people make metal this way? And the answer is no. The steps that I showed you is my personal way of making metals through Poyomi. Mind you, everyone has a different step, where some people may not even have some of the steps that I do, but in order to get the metal result that I am showing you here today, these are the three steps that I use that are the most successful. Feel free to play around with it at your own will and do what you will or won't. That is completely up to you. Take it to your heart's content. I genuinely hope this video helped and have a great day.